In this grade 10 economics video, we are looking at the 2025 October November finals and we are preparing for our paper 2. We have already covered our paper 1 and in this video, we are specifically looking at the paper 2 exam scope. We are going to simply list out all the topics that you need to study and have covered before you walk into the exam room, but not only list those topics, but what to study under each and every single one of them so that you can be fully prepared for your paper 2. In your paper 2, you have microeconomics and contemporary economic issues as the main topic of your paper 2. And under microeconomics, the first topic you have to cover is dynamics of markets, under which you have to cover value, price, and utility, perfect markets, imperfect markets, effects of electronics in the market, supply and demand, price formation, as well as the functions of the market. And then the second topic under microeconomics is public sector intervention, under which we simply cover the methods of involvement or rather the methods of intervention which the first one is direct taxes then we get to subsidies welfare the maximum and minimum prices and production as well as minimum wages so as you can see these are the different ways in which the public sector by the way you have to also know that the public sector simply refers to the government so how the government intervenes in the markets then in the third to topic, under microeconomics is production possibility curve. You have to first cover the phenomenon of the production possibility curve, meaning be able to explain and define the production possibility curve and also be able to explain the choice as well as scarcity as they relate to the production possibility curve. Then we get to explaining internal and external factors and end with consequences of inefficiencies. The first topic under contemporary economic issues is labor relations, under which you have to cover labor force in South African context, the demand and supply for labor, the Labor Relations Act, self-government majorification and consultation, and you have to cover the BCEA, the LRA, as well as COIDA, and then also do collective bargaining process, which include the CCMA, work forums, unions, and the labor court. The second topic under contemporary economic issues is unemployment, under which you have to cover unemployment rate, characteristics of South African unemployment, causes and consequences of unemployment, approaches to solve unemployment, growth of production, public works program, the unemployment insurance, and end with economically marginalized groups. Basically, we are talking about eco uh, previously disadvantaged groups, meaning the people who were previously affected by the apartheid era, hence the status of their unemployment. The sixth topic is economic redress, which is the last topic. Under it, you have to cover redress and reconstruction, which mainly focuses on the factors of production. Then you have to cover democratization of economic procedure, the labor legislation, public hearings, self-regulating bodies, uh, economic performance as well as employment, income inequality, poverty and stability. Make sure that you take screenshots of every single one of these topic lists. I have YouTube recommend you more of my videos. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below.